My name is Ning Wang. I'm CEO of Offensive Security, which is a cybersecurity training and certifications company. I worked at McKinsey many years ago uh, in the LA office. I have learned a lot from McKinsey and I always tell people, I cannot believe how much I benefited from the years of working at McKinsey. I think two things that were really important to me uh, that I learned from McKinsey. One is that it really taught me how to think strategically, you know, being a consultant, working on strategy, m and I learned a lot of those. The secondly is that something I learned before McKinsey, but it was in the scientific setting, which is problem solving. In business, we are solving problems. It could be a marketing problem, sales problem, operational problem. McKinsey is really big on teaching you how to do hypothesis-driven 80-20 approach to do problem solving. And uh, it's becoming a, a, a second nature. And I use that all the time. I worked with a really good mentor and friend, and uh, at the end of our work together, we were trying to figure out what to do next. At, at the time, I really wanted to do something that's meaningful, not just as a career, but having impact in the world, in the community. I picked two areas of interest for me. One is FinTech, the other one is cybersecurity. And then a cybersecurity opportunity came up and that is HackerOne. He was the CEO, still is the CEO, and I followed him. And then we were at HackerOne for three years together. I was there for three years as CFO and COO. And that was my first entry into cybersecurity. In the last five years, there is significant increase in digitization in the workplace. And also in the last two, three years, because of pandemic, the remote work is so much more prevalent. What that means is the attack surfaces are so much bigger. There's more systems, more devices, more endpoint for the, I call the black hackers, the bad guys to attack. So in terms of the type of vulnerabilities, it hasn't changed that much. But in terms of volume, there's a significant increase. But in terms of the nature, in terms of what has been happening, that hasn't changed that much. Is the, the you know, they exploit the human weakness and the, through phishing or social engineering. And through that, they escalate their privilege and they get their payload into the sensitive area and then take either the data or take control over the system. So... The, the, the type of things that you see hasn't changed that much, but the volume has changed and the attack surface is much bigger now. You know, with the way we live and the way we work, so much of our days or our lives are filled with digital technologies. It's no longer just the phones, it's also the basic infrastructure. So I'm sure people heard about the colonial pipeline. That's our basic everyday uh, living uh, infrastructure. So what happens is that the way to settle, the way to solve cybersecurity problem is to make sure you design systems with security in mind. But the fact is we are living with so much technology in everyday life and everyday work, and those systems are old and it's not possible to replace all of them. So there will be uh, vulnerabilities in our systems that if, however, we are mindful, we are intentional, that we actually think cybersecurity is important. We can do some of the mitigation of all these key infrastructure, key systems, key networks that will help improve the overall security of our society.